Welcome to Introduction to Healthcare and Public Health in the U.S. Public Health Part 1. This is Lecture B. This component, Introduction to Healthcare and Public Health in the U.S., is a survey of how healthcare and public health are organized and how services are delivered in the U.S. The objectives for Public Health Part 1 are to Discern the main differences and similarities between public and private health. Delineate the historic timeline and achievements of public health in the U.S. Define and discuss key terminology of public health. Illustrate the general organization of public health agencies and public health data flow. Evaluate and explain the impact and value of public health. This lecture discusses public health terminology and organization. This slide shows a selection of key terminology for public health, including definitions endemic, disease native to an area or population, epidemic, disease affecting numerous people at the same time, epidemiology, study of incidence, distribution, and control of disease in a population, incidence, the number of new events or cases in a population. Requires a specified time period and a defined population. Intervention in public health refers to an action or program that is meant to benefit the health of a population. Examples might include legislation, education, or service delivery, morbidity, proportion of disease or illness in a population, relative incidence of a disease, mortality. Number, frequency, or proportion of deaths in a population. Outbreak. Sudden, rapid development of a disease in a population. Pandemic. An extensive epidemic affecting a very large region, such as a country, continent, or the world. Prevalence. Proportion of a population with a specified condition or illness. Requires a specified time period or point in time. Relative risk. Risk of an outcome in those exposed to a disease versus those not exposed, and the calculated odds ratio resulting from a study. And finally, risk. Odds of an event occurring, as in a 1 in 100 chance or risk of dying. While certain aspects of public health, such as communicable disease outbreaks and bioterrorism surveillance, tend to attract more media attention, this attention does not always represent the actual investment of public funding and efforts. For example, as shown in the President's budget chart for 2017, for the Department of Health and Human Services, Medicare and Medicaid actually consume the majority of budget expenditures. The Affordable Care Act provided insurance to an additional 18 million Americans through the expansion of Medicaid. Some core areas of public health are behavioral science and health education, biostatistics, emergency medical services, environmental health, epidemiology, health services administration and management, international and global health. Maternal and child health, nutrition, public health laboratories. This categorization emphasizes the public health focus on education and behavior modification, policy, monitoring and surveillance, and research. Also notable is the inclusion of public health laboratories, a vital link in the public health system. In general, there are three levels of public health in the U.S. Local, state, and federal. Local health departments may exist at the county level or, in some cases, may represent more than one county. State health departments usually, but not always, are associated with a network of local health departments. The federal level is represented by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, as well as other federal agencies. Public health assumes many roles in improving population health. Public health organizations promote healthy lifestyles through providing education. They advocate for legislative funding to enact policies in the interest of public health. They carry out monitoring and surveillance of numerous health threats, 
Some examples include communicable diseases or elevated blood lead levels. Another role is regulation. State public health agencies mandate reporting of conditions by laboratories, healthcare providers, and veterinarians. Some healthcare services are directly provided by public health institutions, such as public health nursing clinics, vaccination clinics, and maternal and child health care. Public health services also include public health laboratories, where sophisticated testing of biological and environmental samples is performed. One of the very effective means by which public health gathers information is through disease reporting. States have the authority to legislatively mandate the reporting of certain diseases and conditions by laboratories, healthcare providers, and veterinarians. Certain diseases are termed nationally notifiable diseases. These NNDs are determined through a collaboration of states and the CDC. Although reporting of NND data to the CDC is technically voluntary, states tend to be very good at reporting these. The National Electronic Telecommunications System for Surveillance, NETS, is the current means by which most NND data are sent to CDC. Some examples of nationally notifiable diseases are listed on this slide and include anthrax, hepatitis, Zika virus, cancer, and pesticide-related illnesses. Note that these are only a handful of the total infectious and non-infectious conditions, which are NNDs. The generalized flow of public health data is illustrated in this slide. Because this is a generalization, there are some exceptions to this pattern. In most cases, the data originate from data sources such as clinicians and laboratories. The data are sent to local health departments either directly or they may be routed through the state health department. The state health department assumes responsibility for reporting data to CDC. All levels of public health provide public use data, carefully screened to protect patient privacy. Both the CDC and the general public receive de-identified data, with patient identifiers removed to protect confidentiality. This concludes Lecture B of Public Health Part 1. In summary, this lecture defines some key terminology of public health and discusses the organization and funding of public health in the U.S. The roles of public health are discussed. One of these roles, disease reporting and surveillance, is described in detail.